Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're in a very nice fort we took over, and we just, uh, well, got struck with a bit of betrayal. But uh, we found a letter in here to Palatin Caldwell from Duke Ardal Abde. Your request to return to Lyria has been rejected. I agree with your argument that King Willem requires the support of an experienced politician. That is why I shall advise him should the need arise. For now, your talents are more useful in Angren. As you know, the Emperor depends on the rapid delivery of building materials to our shipyards. I advise you to make the fulfillment of his wishes your top priority. Delays are unacceptable. So Caldwell is getting the short end of the stick a bit by the Empire already. Ooh, and we do have a lot of resources. I might as well use that to upgrade a bit. And there we have more resources to the north. Which is interesting because of because of, of course this part of the map we couldn't access before. And now we have three battles and a puzzle battle. Seems pretty straightforward. So let's talk to this new guardian. Okay. Okay, he's just begging for his life. Uh, anything else I can do? There's a little rat down there, but that's pretty much all we can do. Him, don't you fret. Okay. I'll keep a close eye on him, Mom. Don't you fret. I'm not fretting. I'm not fretting. I'm just gonna cross the bridge here. The first of many bridges that we'll cross. And we get more resources, more recruits over here. A bit more resources and a chest we can open up. And we get Barnabas Avatar. That is cool. Thank you very much. Grab all that and more rats and crows and all of that. So, anything over here? No, broken bridge. Moving forward. So back through Red Lobinden. And I'm just gonna grab these resources over here before we actually get some more upgrades. So these are ooh significant. Really significant. So back to camp building. Uh, we have quite a sturdy camp already. So I'm gonna take a bit of a risk here. Uh, I could upgrade the soldiers' quarters to the maximum, or I could build a palisade, which gives each unit one army at the start of the battle. Uh, and if I want to combine that with the extra, well, strays units, so the the strays of Spala units, then I think I should probably go with that option instead of increasing the recruit gap. So let's build the palisade. There we go, we have a wall now. And then the strays, the first strays den upgrade. And that gives us the upgraded stray slinger, which I think is just an upgrade to its health. Then the strays cavalry, of maybe we can just make them now. And the strays bomber plus, which uh, doubles the chances you actually get damaged by the fire. Uh, which is not so useful for now, but once we get this upgrade, which we can actually do... Might actually do that as well. Yeah, let's just buy the next upgrade for the Strays Den as well. So that gets us to 600 wood. And we can get the Strays of Spala, which damages a unit by 5. And if it's on fire, damage all units on that row by 5. And the Strays Slinger is also updated to damage the units by 4 instead of 2. Okay. With that, I think we're going to make some adjustments to the deck. Oh, and there we go. We get the Dog Trainer. Trophy for making, because the Strays of Spala was the last Gascoin unit I had made. Uh, and we're at pretty much the limit of our deck, but I can make a few adjustments. We also have the Mahakam units, but I think most of them aren't really useful, so I'm going to just remove them out of here. So that's going to have to do, we got two Bombers, uh, two Slingers, and the uh, Strays of Spala once. So that's going to be a lot if we can combine that with the Bomber. But for now, that's going to be the end of our adjustments. So, moving forward. No two ways to it. Charming this county the Blackclads granted Caldwell to rape. Caldwell to rape? Excuse me? Yes. A gift so lovely Caldwell could not refuse. At Dahi, it seems, wished to be rid of the Count, so as to rule Lyria alone. I do wonder why they quarreled. Caldwell wished to rule by Willem's hand. And by his claim. Of little benefit to Nilfgaard, so the general disapproved. As do I. By all means. 
There we go. Kind of makes sense. Not too hard to figure out that out. Because, of course, General Abde wants to rule by himself and not by the means of uh, Count Caldwell. A corpse. Your Majesty, it seems likely a monstrous beast of some sort is responsible for the attack on this caravan. The horses' carcasses bear the markings of fangs and claws. Some of the merchants must have survived, for there are footprints in the mud leading south. What shall we do with the goods abandoned here? Shall we leave them as they are or requisition them to cover wartime expenses? But of course, we're going to take them. There we go. And we get the first part of the Wyvern Shield, the Wyvern Scale Shield. And we can fix the bridge here as well. But let's find another path for now, because I think we might actually be able to... Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of ways to go around that. But first things first, the battle on the east. We saw that beast in the corner of our eye a bit. And I don't think I actually activated this. Yep, yeah, there we go. And there we have... What the hell is that supposed to be? Is that some kind of vampire again? Hello. Yes, it is. Ghost Town. The inhabitants of Angren had always endured many hardships. War, disease, poisonous swamp gases, and above all else, monsters. Nowhere was safe. Not even their own homes. Every turn on turn end, damage a random enemy by two. Here we go. And that looks like a very cool... Model, Blood Drunk Katakan, whenever a vampire is played, boosted by two. Seems pretty simple. We didn't get a drummer, but this is a normal battle, so we still have plenty of moves to do before we get to that. So, Great Rider. As you command. And then the turn. Every turn on turn start, drain the lowest enemy units by one. But... We can apply fire to those rows as well. We don't even have a loyal ability yet. So let's just deploy the nice fire leak. over there. And then get Warhammer going just to boost the unit up front. Um, let's just get at least a drummer up front. And then the turn. More and more vampires all around the place, and we get damaged. And it actually gets revived every time we kill it, so no use in trying to get rid of those. Not a good hand by any means, by the way. So let's just use the stray slinger. Never have a storm, knock out one of your and oh, the ability is also changed to an order ability, so I am actually gonna wait with that. There we go, we still get damaged by two. But every wolf in your hand boosts out by one, then damage a random enemy by two. And we repeat that every time he plays a wolf. So let's pull all of those into the fire. There we go, which gets them damaged. And then I could technically just take them out with Northern Wind. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. There we go. Taken out rather nicely. And if we get a bit lucky with the fire, we actually get... Yeah, there we go. Two kills. And it gets resurrected, but damaged immediately again. Sees a damaged bronze enemy. And it actually does that. Ooh, a Garcane. And then I think I'm actually going to tactically pass here. Just like we do in a normal battle. Because we have card advantage and he actually lost a lot of points. Oh, he got lucky with that. He got lucky with that because the Grey Rider saved his ass. That was stupid, but yeah, we get a boosted drummer, which is nice. And a few other units. I don't think he's gonna pass immediately, is he? No, he's not. So, uh, Grey Ride at first. Naturally. Which gives us a bit of armor. And the drain actually goes through the armor. Oh. And he passed already. So let's just use the Forager. Oh. Use Meave as well. And get a Raynard up top. So we can at least start focusing on those guys. And use the Forager. Why not, eh? There we go. And the turn. And pass. That doesn't trigger again, so we won the round. And we're at equal cards again. So there we go. Raynard. Also Stunder and the Strays. Let's start off with the Drummer. I can do a lot with these guys now. So let's just do the Drummer first. Left, right, 
Left, right. Katakan gets the Alpha Wolf there. But wait a second. Whenever a vampire is placed, boosted by two. But an Alpha Wolf is not a vampire, buddy. That is... That wasn't right. Or did it just get boosted by for every wolf in your hand? Okay, yeah, never mind. Never mind. So, um, I'm gonna play the Lyrian Lance Connect in the back here. And use me Warhammer. To pull another uh, drummer. Drummer, drummer, drummer. There we go, drummer. Get that drummer right next to the Lyrian Lance Connect. Again, and then use Egg to kill again. the wolf. The knight should help. Our codex commands there we go. it. Then we can use the Lyrian Hashtuk to go in between the drummer and the Lyrian Lance Connect. Uh, which gets us one charge for that regiment drummer. Why not, eh? Barnabas Beckenbauer. So we create a trinket, boost all allies by two. Mark a unit and boost it by ten. After three turns on turn start, destroy that unit. Or damage three units by three. Mark a unit and boost it by ten. After three turns on turn start, destroy that unit itself. Definitely. There we go. Let's take out that vampire later on. Because he keeps draining everybody here. And another wolf. Then the Arbalest, I think, will be the best option. Unless I play the Lillian Blacksmith. Hey, hey, don't touch that. It's perfectly usable. Give a unit 8 armor. Heal an ally and strengthen it by 10. Spawn and play two random trinkets. Let's take that chance again. Um, three bronze units from your opponent. And then protect our lands connect with eight armor. There we go. Look at that. We got three units from our opponent. That's 39 points in one go. Thank you very much. So that means there's still two wolves in his hand. So let's just use the Arbalest because that gives us more points. Arbalest, your command. There we go. Then we use Meave to pull whatever we want, which we're gonna get in Arthusa Adept as well. Um, maybe even the Bomber because we have a stray in our hand. And then use the regiment drummer to actually pull the bomber. You mad? Don't Set that, that row on fire, and then the Aratusa adapt <sighs> to get us. Not I'll ever pay off these school loans. Some more drummers, and that's the end of that. There goes the vampire. In the next turn, probably. Oh, he just took my drummer. He just took my drummer. Which is not a problem, because he's gonna lose this anyway. Yeah, just also stunder the fuck out of that vampire. And the turn. And then next up we'll use Rainit to just finish everybody off there. Seven. That's a nice, uh, nice total he got there. But then we could... Yeah, we can use Meave. To actually get Isbel, but Isbel is on order, so I can't do that anymore. Uh, get... Need a good Blitz unit. Just the Arbalest, I think. There we go. Then we have space for three more units, which is fine. So let's just use the Ekimara to damage... Uh, the Ekimara, the Lance Connect, to damage all those units. Then we use Rainers Discipline to give him to one more charge, victory. which allows us to kill three units. There we go. And then the drummer will pull the Arbalest and Isbel, but Isbel is going to be useless, but still. Nine damage is nice. And Isbel over when there. When will you ever learn? Boss. Kind of forgot about the army we're still getting as well. But look at that. Filled board and almost no more monsters left on the other side. Victory for us. So there we go. Ekimara, Katakan, taking care of Garkane. And there's another one over there right next to that chest. I think we can actually reach that, if I'm not mistaken. In case we would have been able to use the bridge, but we're gonna get another battle first, so let's just go ahead and do that. 
I think we can actually get over the water here as well. So let's take a look at that. And we have a little boat. Your grace, the water is strewn with bodies and capsized boats. It seems the villagers tried to escape to the other side of the swamp, but were attacked by an Iliochorus. We could try to fish out their possessions, but should be aware that movement along the banks may alert monsters. I don't really care about the units. I care about the resources. Sorry, guys. We lost eight, you, uh, eight guys for that, but... Uh... Yeah, let's take a look over here, because we can actually cross the water rather nicely. But not much of interest, we can go through the water to actually get around the other side. But there's, yeah, that looks like Foglets. And it is a Foglet, drip, drip, drip. A low rumble echoed in the distance. The sky opened and rain began to fall. Helms, shields and plate rattled noisily under heavy raindrops. The soldiers walked along a narrow path, taking care not to slip, and often cursing their miserable lot. But they all quickly fell silent when, at the fore of the march, a scout stopped suddenly in his tracks. Over the low, loud roar and patter of the rain, he had no chance. So this time I didn't use every single one of my redraws, which is fine. And we're still facing vampires, it seems, but the ancient foglet as well. Every four turns on turn start, destroy the lowest unit, then damage a random enemy by the power of the destroyed units. Fair enough. As usual, we'll start with the drummer. Is wasted time for and use Meave to just get another one of those bastards out of there. Although, I might actually focus on the Aretusa Adept first. Because if I can do that, I can actually boost the number of uh, drummers in my deck. And I can get more charges with the Ligan Hajduk. Move two enemies to the row opposite this unit and give it Torrential Rain. Fair enough. Um, it's not a blitz unit we'll be getting. So we need to be careful. You know what? Yeah, let's get the forager out. With if nothing to do come just come yet. Just take the whole finger. But then get the Artusa Adept. As you wish, my lady. And give me more drummers. And the third. Ah, sees the damage. There goes my drummer. And I don't get that back, do I? Yep, I don't get that back. Okay, that's annoying. Let's go on a limp here and play Blizzard again. We get blood, so that's... Uh, I need to choose between these units and play two of them. And the rest go into the Slammer. So I'm going to go for the for Barnabas and the War Wagon. The other ones go into the Graveyard. So Barnabas first. Which will allow us to play another Trinket. Yes, 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 I'm on it! Uh, damage the highest one. Yeah, I think this is good, right? Yeah, damage is the... Oh. Yeah, the lowest unit was on his side. That wasn't good. Then the war wagon Rex next to the forager. Like and then this is going to boost uh, Barnabas then, I suppose. There we go. And um, we can actually just trigger the forager. There we go. And then the third. He passes, so that means that I can do just the same as well. So let's just... Can I use Meave? I should use Meave, right? And get something interesting up front. Let's get another drummer up front, just so we have one when we pull our next cards. I need to play a card now, of course. So... I'm just gonna use the stray slingers. Ah, that was stupid. Stone, knock out but yeah. There we go. And the turn, and and the round. That is that. So now, usually with monsters, I just keep playing because they're not the brightest of the bunch. I do get a few repulls. That's that seems to be nice enough. Um, let's start off with a drummer. Left, right. I left, always say that, but right. let's start off with a drummer. Then the pitfall trap right next to that katakan, and see what we can pull out. Probably another drummer. Please, another drummer. There we go. Or I could go for Raynard as well, but I'm gonna do Raynard next time. So, drummer pulled out, and we get again and again. 
again, an again. Arblast as well, which does 4 damage, because the Manticore Trophy counts as a card. Ah, god damn it, stay off my drummers. Um, 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 um. I could give Isbel another charge with the Hush Duke. So why not, eh? Well, you know what? Maybe I should kill the Katakan first. Yeah, I'm gonna do that first. Looking so let's just dance, mate. kill that thing. Because I don't want it to keep draining my units anymore. Okay. If in hand, deck, or on the battlefield, boost self by one whenever an enemy takes damage. So the reverse of Egg in a lesser capacity. I'm gonna put Isbel down here as well. It's not too late to walk away. And the turn. The torrential rain is fine. That just damages us a bit. But now with the Ligan Hashduk, I can give charges. Then damage the enemies by that. Then use the Warhammer to get um, Rain at the top. No, let's just do one more drumming. One more drumming. And get him over there. Um, he's wasted time for one like me. And then the Forager over here. One man's battlefield is another man's right. And I can do that again, but the current damage amount is zero. So let's just wait. Move an enemy to the other row and damage it by three. Okay, I think it's high time we redeploy the blizzard we've used before. So let's just use the blacksmith and redeploy blizzards. It's always a risk, but now that is that. And then we get Swallow, which just boosts the unit with by 10, I think. Yeah, there we go. That is that, and we're gonna end the turn. We could technically just use also Stunley next to kill that Alpha Garcane. Although it just gets boosted, of course. Now, um, that doesn't mean anything, right? Yeah, that's just 10. Uh, so, first off, first off, probably just the Northern Wind then. There we go, take out most of those units, and then turn. We get damaged again by 5, and that means our drummer is going to die next time. Okay. Then... Meave. Pull ah! the war wagon up front. There we go. Then pull the war wagon. Which is also a blitz unit. Put him in between these guys. Win them all, but you and won't. then use the Rivian Sapper to take out the rest Don't of those infantry in units. We'll get done in no time. There we go. And damage the other down over there. There we go. Double sixes. And I'm actually going to wait by using the Forager, because of course we don't have anything to attack him with. Interesting. So now that I need to use my, my Rivian Sapper. The oh, there we go. I should just attack something I don't kill, right? There we go. That was not the best move, was it? Drain all enemies on a row by one. And then to end this off, I'm just gonna use the... I'm not gonna use anything, I'm just gonna pass. Because I don't want to lose those cards if I uh, lose. But I don't think I don't think he'll even win with that. The rain is still there, but yeah, there we go. He just sucks monkey balls. Goodbye. Thank you very much for all of your loot, uh, vampires and foglets. Because they're starting to work together. That's not fair. But uh, by taking out a few of the monsters here... We might as well take a break. Because there's Arcus spores and vampires all over the place. So plenty for us to do. 
So before we do that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.